Well, good morning, Friday morning, Daily Bread. Hey, it's good to have you guys on. Uh, Apostle Chastain Rock here. Uh, for those of you that are, you know, steady with us all the time, God bless you. We pray that you're going into a revelatory time of spiritual input into your life, that you might gain more and more knowledge and understanding of what's going on around you and have a Christian worldview of everything that's taking place. For those of you that may just join us, I pray that each and every day as we go through particular sessions with you guys, that will increase your faith, that as you're drawing near to God, God draws near to you to begin to reveal to you what you need to know in your particular life and how to stay away from the seductive, uh, uh, I would say, systems that the enemy has set up against us, you know, either through a lack of knowledge or uh, through experiences that we've had in the past, unforgiveness. Today I'm going to be talking about pride. Uh, stay away from those particular things so that you might grow strong in the Lord. Amen. Now this morning, as I just mentioned, we're going to talk about another tool that the enemy uses to steal, kill, and to destroy. And he uses this one a lot, okay? And it's called pride, all right? So please go with me uh, to the book of Proverbs, all right? Chapter 14, all right? And in Proverbs chapter 14, and I'm going to read this from my notes again, uh, you know, because uh, these are things that I write my books uh, from. So, uh, Please pay attention to this. In Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, it says this. There's a way which seemeth right unto a man. It seems right. Okay? But the end thereof are the ways of death. Okay? Now, so the scripture is letting us know that there are things that may seem right, but they actually lead us in the path of destruction. And this is one of the deceptions, as we said, the enemy must deceive you in order to steal, kill, and to destroy things in your life, okay? So, in Ephesians, you know, we go like, well, how does this happen to me, okay? I mean, how do I get into pride? <laughs> well, I mean, that's a wide story. We could spend about a couple of months on that, uh, how do I get into pride? But one of the ways that scriptures tell us is in Ephesians chapter 4. So let's roll over there, okay? Because... Pride is a mind thing, okay? It's like a, the, a, a beast of the ocean that lurks in a certain spot to destroy, okay? And this is, what, this is what pride is. It says in Ephesians chapter 4, all right? Please run with me real quick because this is Friday. I try to get, get a whole lot in real quick on you guys. Um, verse 17, this I say therefore and testify in the Lord. All right, so this is something that came directly out of revelation from the Lord. That you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their minds. All right, this is where having the understanding darkened. This is where pride let rest. Okay, this is where it lurks in the vanity of your mind. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God, through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their hearts. Okay? So this is where pride lurks, in the vanity of a person's mind because they lack understanding and they're ignorant of the things of God. Okay? I'm just making it very plain to you this morning uh, because I've seen this work. I've seen people, <laughs> people live this kind of way. Uh, and, uh, you know, you, you can ask questions you can ask them certain things, as I'm going to ask you guys in a moment here, uh, and they will answer in a certain way, and you can know that they're doing certain things. Now listen, here, here we go. Here's, here's some of my notes. Please, please take this. It is in the mind that pride lurks as a beast in the ocean or something, just lurking, waiting for something, you know. Uh, you get out there fishing, especially this in Florida, and they have these big fish called Goliath groupers, all right? Those Goliath groupers... They just lurk around schools of fish because they, if they see one get sick, they grab him. If they see one get out of place, they grab him. Even when fishermen <laughs> hook those fish and start pulling them up and the fish is fighting all over the place, to a Goliath grouper, that fish, guess what, is, is food to him because now that fish can't get away. And guess what? He's lurking there around them all the time. He's moving around them all the time, and he'll swallow that fish in a moment, pull him right off the hook, all right? And so pride lurks. Pride is puffed up. It's all-knowing. You can't tell a person anything. 
you know, they always got a big head, they run their mouth a whole lot, never listen with their ears, all right? It's self-righteous, okay? They have their own form of righteousness. In other words, rebellion, sin, and corruption are the three factors that go together in pride, okay? Rebellion says, I do not submit to authority. Sin says, I've missed the mark. And corruption says that I try to turn things around that are the standard, and I try to readjust them for my personal use, okay? You know, and so you have to watch those things because, again, those are the components of pride, all right? It's all-knowing, it's self-righteous, and it's governed by the flesh, as we just read, okay? The vanity of their minds, okay? Uh, in, in Proverbs chapter 16, all right, verse 18, it says, Pride goes before destruction, okay, and a haughty spirit before a fall, okay? So you're going to only end up in two places, a fall or destruction. This is the only place that pride can carry you, okay? Now, one of the ways you can see if you're in pride, and this is a self-evaluation thing, okay, can you be corrected or admonished? Can, can someone say something to you, you know, and you go like, you know something, that's right, without you blowing all off, or that's your, that's your opinion. You know, I had somebody tell me that a little while ago. You know, I was telling them something about church and family and whatever. They told me, well, that's just your opinion. And I was going like, really? That's just my opinion? This is what the Word of God says, but it's just my opinion. That, that's a person who's in pride. Can I listen and learn from someone else? Can you do it, or do you think you already know everything? You, you already got all the answers. You already got everything. You've never been through what they have been through because you don't know what they've been through, but you have this mind that you, because you know all everything, that you know everything. So guess what? You know everything. Hey, hey, listen. Do you look down on people as if they are less than you are? All of us are citizens of the kingdom of God. Now I'm talking to you guys as Christians. All of us are, 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 are citizens of the kingdom of God, and there is none in this place or that place. Only preference by the works that we do in Jesus' grace uh, we are going to be placed eternity, eternally in the things that we're going to be doing for eternity, all right? Uh, do I try to keep up with the, the people that seem to be uh, ahead of everybody else? There used to be an old song about keeping up with the Joneses. Do I, do I keep up with, you know, with everybody that seems to be, you know, they seem to be doing, they seem to be doing more than, than, than these other people, so I, I need to try to keep up with them. You got to watch that. And do I do whatever it takes to gain fame and fortune and popularity and clout? Do I do, I do those things to do that? See, see, you're the one that has to ask yourself these kinds of questions because, again, pride is one of the, the, the systems that the enemy uses to steal, to kill, and to destroy your lives. And I've seen marriages destroyed because of pride. I've seen people miss out on ministry works because of pride. I've seen people dead because of pride. I've seen people fall away from the good grace and truth of Jesus Christ because of pride. Sitting at home doing nothing now with our lives because of pride. And I'm telling you, if you don't watch yourself, check up on your checkup. And make sure your checkup lines up with Jesus' word. Check up on yourself constantly. And make sure that you're not following suit in some form of pride because it is a probability and a tendency that every person in the world has some form of pride. And this is why it is so dangerous and it becomes a door for the enemy to steal, kill, and destroy things in our lives. Amen. God bless you this morning. I pray that you learn something, get your own revelations, ask the Lord to help you. He's the unmistakable director of truth and he will help you, guide you, and show you what you need to do to stay out of the clutches of the enemy's camp so that your life can be a victorious life for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Uh, we pray that everything will increase in your life the more and more and more as you walk by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you on Daily Bread next week. In Jesus' name.